what he said. Welcome to the Monday Must Do, where I tell you about an attraction or place that you just must do at the Walt Disney World Resort. Today's must do comes to us from Disney's Hollywood Studios. Before I get into the Monday Must Do for today, I want to actually tell you about an honorable mention Monday Must Do. Originally, I wanted to do the Monday Must Do for today about the Lights, Motors, Action, Extreme Stunt Show at Disney's Hollywood Studios, but... I kind of feel like that's pointless because, unfortunately, it's closing on April 2nd this year. If for some reason you're going to be there before April 2nd, go check out the Lights, Motors, Action, Extreme Stunt Show at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's all I'm going to say about that. Today's Monday must-do at Disney's Hollywood Studio is Rockin' Roller Coaster. Rockin' Roller Coaster is definitely a thrill ride. It is a roller coaster. It is themed with Aerosmith. In case you don't know who they are, you should probably Google it or stop living under a rock. Whichever. On Rock and Roller Coaster, you start out visiting G-Force Records and you're going to go behind the scenes where you get to see Aerosmith in the studio. Um, along the way, you figure out really quickly that they've got to leave for a show, but you know what? They want you to go along with them. So you end up going along with them in a super stretched limo so you can hurry up and get to their show and get your backstage passes. So the roller coaster itself looks like the stretch limo that you're going in and it's just an excellent, fast paced, fun roller coaster. The entire roller coaster is inside so it's kind of dark but they do have a lot of like neon signs and um, fluorescent lighting going on in there. It does go upside down a couple of times it's really fast and it's really fun. Rock and Roller Coaster does have a height requirement of 48 inches or taller. There's also a single rider line that you can use which will make your weight a lot shorter as long as you don't mind being split up from your travel party. Fast Pass Plus is available for this ride. I highly recommend using Fast Pass Plus because this ride's pretty popular and the line tends to get pretty long. You can definitely catch it at times where it's shorter like say first thing in the morning when the park opens or in the evening whenever some of the um, nighttime shows are happening at Disney's Hollywood Studios, you might be able to get on quicker there too. There is a ride photo on this ride. After you get off the ride, you exit into a cool little gift shop. It's one of my favorite gift shops, and I think just because it's kind of music related, rock and roll related, I don't know. I just like this gift shop a lot. It's just a fun ride from beginning to end. And here's the fun thing to know. March 26th was Steven Tyler's birthday. Steven Tyler is the lead singer for Aerosmith, and he actually visited Disney's Hollywood Studios and went on Rock and Roller Coaster just to check out his ride. And it was pretty cool because he posted video on Facebook and I'm sure in other places showing him going through the line and like taking pictures with fans and high-fiving people. He just seems really cool and laid back. I would love to meet him one day. I'm probably never going to be there when he randomly shows up to ride his ride though. Dream on. So what about you guys? Do you like Rock and Roller Coaster? If you like Rock and Roller Coaster, give this video a thumbs up or comment below and let me know about it. Okay, everybody, that's the Monday Must Do for today. Join me next Monday when I bring you another Must Do attraction. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you real soon. Okay, so today's Monday's the Meh. Yes. Okay, everybody, that's the Monday Must Do for today. You don't want to be up here.